So I'm going to continue on with this paradox for a few minutes. Uh, the paradox that I'm currently addressing is Y. Uh, like I said, Y is either a letter in the alphabet, or it's a question that's designed not always to have provocative thinking, not to have clarity of thought, just kind of to go out there. When somebody tells me that they know why something happened, what I have them do is I have them come up with five other reasons or excuses or <laughs> randomness as to why they think something happened. Because I think it's as relevant. Uh, if you think you know why life works the way it does, I don't think you know what you're talking about. And that goes for most people. Uh, and we had a really, really famous uh, man in our house, an author. Uh, he wrote Revolutionary Thinking. From there you can figure out who it is or not. But he was going on with one of his pet theories and my wife got laughing. We were at dinner and she said, you don't know that. And he started announcing his credentials as to why he would be somebody who did know that. And then he got laughing. And he said, yeah, you're absolutely right. I don't know that. But a few years ago I was talking to a friend of mine's dad and he'd been through uh, some health care stuff. Bob is up in his 80s. Or, yeah, I guess he is now in his 80s. And we're looking at the industry of cancer. And uh, I don't know what causes cancer. I don't think anybody does. Anybody who has vaccinations against cancer is a quack, 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 quack. And they should be jailed if they think that they're going to do mandatory vaccinations for something that they don't know what causes something. Okay? Just that's a little bit of an opinion. I know that. But we're talking about how much is done to a person with cancer and how much of it is experimental. I talk to all different kinds of people, and they say that, you know, that they've been through cancer therapy. A, a patient of mine was going through cancer therapy and finally decided on his own to stop it. He said, no, I'm going to stop this because I was getting better on this protocol. They wouldn't let him go back on the original protocol because it didn't fit the experiments. He was essentially a lab rat. They were experimenting with his life, and he went off of it. But I was talking to Bob about different therapies, and I was saying, you know, it seems that they're ineffective and they don't really be looking all the time curiously as to what might or might not be causing it. But I said, you know, there's... And he, when we were talking about the therapies that don't seem to work, like all the demands from the medical system is, oh, you have to do double-blind studies. Well, let's do it on an open-heart surgery patient or a cancer patient, a double-blind, okay? Um, with all your alternatives. Oh, this has to be double-blind. This has to be proved. That has to be proved. It's a double standard that they set up, and they don't have to follow. But with Bob, I was saying, you know, they don't seem to be that effective. And he said, why? And, you know, I thought about it. I don't have a clue why. There's a guy out there who says it's all to make money and stuff like that, and it may or may not be. I don't know. But the question why is a paradox. It's senseless, it's nonsensical, and it makes all the sense in the world. Have a fun day.